The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is the, at point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came upon, up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to Jesus, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside, except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him, and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talithukum, which means, Little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, in the Gospel, we see the two people that they suffer afflictions. The first is a woman. This woman was suffer the affliction, the hemorrhages, for 12 years. And she spent everything in the doctors. But she don't feel better. But she has a great faith in Jesus. For the reason she said, if I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. This woman approached to Jesus with faith only was enough to touch the clothes of Jesus. In this moment, immediately, <clears throat> the woman was cured. But here, Jesus recognized the faith of the woman because Jesus said, Daughter, your faith has saved you. 
The other person is the Jerez. Jerez has the other affliction. His daughter is point, <clears throat> is point died. Imagine the affliction of this dad. And he came to Jesus with humbly, humbly. He fell to the feet of Jesus and asked to Jesus, go and lay your hands on my daughter and she will feel well and live. This man had a faith in the power of Jesus. But when they go in the way, they are in the way. What happened? It's a, one more proof to this man. They received a message. Your daughter is died. But Jesus hear the message and Jesus said to, to him, do not be afraid. Just have faith. Do not be afraid. Just have faith. How is my faith in God? It's not only enough to, to repeat, to repeat, or to say the creed every Sunday. I believe in one God. No. The faith is the act of faith is when, when I accept to God in my life as my Lord, as my Lord, my God, and I trust in God everything and whatever circumstances in my life or situations in my life. I put everything in the hands of God because I believe in God. Now, I want to take this gospel in our lives. What happened when I had a pain in my tooth? I go to the dentist, right? Or when I had pain in my neck or my back, I go to the chiropractor. When I don't feel well, I go to the doctor. I don't wait any longer. I go because I want to feel better. But why I don't do the same in our spiritual life? What happens when I have pain in my soul? When my soul is ill, what happened? What is my medicine? What is my relief? Is Jesus, is the Eucharist, is the communion. For this reason, we are here in this moment, in this Sunday, because I need the strong, the strength in my life. I need the heal in my life. I need to receive the communion in my life every Sunday or every week. It's necessary, the communion in my life, the body and blood of Jesus. Remember what happened, or what, what say, or what respond when the priest show the body of Jesus in the, in the Mass. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And you respond, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed and my soul shall be healed my medicine is the Eucharist and we repeat this phrase, this word every, every mass is not enough repeat we need to believe these words Jesus is my medicine. Jesus healed me, my soul, my heart, 
my life. I invite you, brothers and sisters, to, to grow in, to continue growing in the love and the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the center in our lives as Catholics. It's the found in our lives. We need to love the Eucharist every day and receive the communion as food and healed in my life.